what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we kind of now have an understanding of how the staff franchise will factor into the upcoming screen 5 i know a lot of you guys have speculated and wondered how will they use the staff franchise in this upcoming new entry i've talked about it talked about this in the past maybe we get a staff film based on the events of screen 4 that doesn't appear to be happening doesn't mean it's not going to actually happen just no word yet on that we do now know that the staff franchise will at least get mentioned or make some sort of appearance thanks to a recent interview with av club that heather graham had you know heather graham she was the on-screen casey becker that we saw in stab two or not stab two in scream two in the opening when maureen and her boyfriend were getting killed at the stab pre-screening she had a recent interview where she talked about her time on set and she stated that it's funny because they just sent me that clip because they're using it in the new scream and i had to i guess approve it or allow them to use it so i just rewatched it and i'm wearing that wig kind of what drew barrymore hair was like and i'm like cute wig i want that wig now so before that they were just talking to her about how she about her time in the film and if that was just like a quick thing for her to do and she was going on and on about how she was very honored to be a part of it and it just it was a good opportunity to work with a lot of famous people like Wes Craven yada 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 but then that last bit of course is what we're going to talk about she mentioned that the stab film is going to make some sort of appearance a clip regarding her anyway is going to make an appearance in the screen five that we're going to get in 2022 from spyglass media from the directors of ready or not and paramount pictures so that's all we really know as far as like how the staff franchise will factor into it we know that we're going to at least get that clip now honestly as far as like how that clip is going to be used um that clip is probably going to be used at a party similar to what we saw in the past with other with the with the first scream how they were watching horror movies at a party there's probably going to be a party and then one of them will probably be watching this stab film and that's when we'll see heather graham's casey on screen again so at least it's good to know that the stab franchise is, is not completely dead in this new entry i know that was another concern i saw people speculating about well what if the stab franchise is never even is not even mentioned what if it's just ignored um honestly i know a lot of you actually were getting sick of the staff films particularly with screen four screen four is opening i i think it's clever but like at one point it became like okay when it was a when it was a fake opening for the first time i was like okay then when she stabbed her in the stomach and it was another i'm like okay and then now okay now we're actually getting the opening I'm like okay thank you honestly the opening with uh the the opening in the stab film from the in screen four with lucy hale and I can't think of her name, but she was in Degrassi. I can't think of the actress's name at the moment, but she played Darcy in Degrassi. The opening with Lucy Hale and that actress from Degrassi, that was a better overall opening when they were both they both got killed and Lucy ran out the house and got her throat slit. That was a better opening than what we actually got with the actual opening from Screen 4. I wish that had been the full-fledged opening and that that was the actual opening for the film because what happened afterwards i thought just was very like lukewarm and kind of like meh but yeah the staff franchise will appear and ultimately it's just going to be this clip of heather graham's casey in some capacity once again now whether or not they will do anything else with the staff franchise in this upcoming entry we do not know we'll have to wait and see i do believe that this will be the only mention of the staff franchise that we get outside of you know just them possibly bringing it up you know that we'll probably have our film geeks and our film nerds and our horror buffs from the group of the new actors and actresses that we have on board who love the staff franchise and they'll talk about it and then they'll watch the first film at a party later on in the movie that's honestly how i see this how, how i see this clip being factored in and if this is the only mention we get of the staff franchise, I'm fine with it. Because I thought, honestly, Scream 2, Scream 2, okay, that was a nice, clever little introduction to this stab series. Scream 3, again, they kind of took it overboard a bit in Scream 3. I thought, honestly, that the whole, the whole stab thing, while it was a nice touch, certain elements of it were just like overkill like okay we know we have this universe that's based off of a film series that we're actually watching that in itself is fictional but 
the way it, it just kept getting brought up with each sequel, each sequel now is going to get brought up again. I'm glad it's, I hope it's a more toned down mention of the of the franchise honestly because it's scream four overkill we got those two fake out openings we got stabathon we got a bunch of stab stab fanatics so and i've i've even speculated about stab fanatics being the killers in this film i don't even want to see that anymore i just feel like after recently we re-watching the scream series i love it to death but i feel like with the stab franchise that was one of the things that they kind of just they took it a bit too far it was it was nice and clever in scream 2 scream 3 it was kind of just like okay why i i get it it factored into what was going on with marine prescott but then it's just like with each subsequent sequel after scream 2 with 3 and 4 the exposure of that franchise was just becoming more and more like woven into the fabric of this of this universe and I could live without the Stab, Stab franchise being such a crucial part of this because it's it's not it's it's not to us because that's not that's not the actual thing that we're watching. We're watching what we believe to be real events per what's happening on our TV screens. And they're watching their franchise. We don't care about their franchise. They their franchise is Stab. Our franchise is Scream. I don't care about Stab. <laughs> so if they're just going to have this one clip with Heather Graham at a party or something, I'm cool with that. But if they mention the Stab franchise and if we get, you know, some mention of them doing a reboot or something about canceled sequels that have come and gone and they've never they've never come to fruition and like the slight little nod to a lot of other franchises that have been in limbo, other horror franchises that are currently in limbo in our current reality, I'll live with that. But the overexposure you know the going on set of of one of the productions of a stab film i can live without that i can live without it uh, i've talked about it in previous videos i know but the more i think about it i i can live without the stab talk in this movie so whatever happens and if, however this clip gets factored in again i am not stating that that's officially how it will be utilized because she did not say that in the interview herself I don't know what they'll do with it. I expect it to just be a clip that'll be shown at a party. So I know that a lot of you were looking forward to seeing how the staff franchise will be utilized. This is so far all we know. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, you can go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.